will Scott Dixon beat the Verizon Team Penske car on track this weekend? I hope not. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this geezer here in the water. Now, Barber Motorsports Park has a lot of unique features like this, spiders and ants and all sorts of weird stuff like that. And, uh, you know, this guy here, I tell you, uh, you know, I'd never like to be in that situation, but that's, you know, that's, that's what I do to people who, who give me a bit of trouble on the track. But uh, we're going to go around, we'll go and check out all these uh, funny things, and we might even ask Mr. Barber what it's all about. Most people would be very surprised to see an ant this big. But for me, coming from Toowoomba, Australia, the outback, we used to kill these things all the time. And by the look of it, this guy, this ant, has actually got someone. And the, uh, uh, yeah, he's, uh, how you say, dead. But uh, at Father Moe's Boys Park, there's a lot of these uh, ants and spiders, but you don't have to worry because they ain't real. Looks like the number nine bike here has had a bit of an accident. That's Scott Dixon's bike. Uh, a few, only a few of you know this, but his name actually used to be Butch. But, uh, you know, I, I guess you get a name like that when you ride like that, you know, end up in a place like this. He must be going pretty ballistic. Uh, let's go check out the rest. No, that's not the spider that you can hear growling in the background. In fact, we decided to pick the loudest part of the day to do this interview. So we're here with the spider. It's a little bit rusty. And to be honest, I, don't, I can't really say anything more about ants and spiders. So I guess we'll go back to Mr. Barber and ask him what the real deal is about all these fancy things around the track. Unfortunately, Mr. Barber was too busy today, but we have Lee Whaley here from the museum that's going to explain to us the significance of these ants and spiders and zombies out there. You mean you don't have things like that at every racetrack that you go to? That's not the norm? I definitely have those sort of things in Toowoomba, that's Australia, but not, not at every racetrack. This is very unique. Uh, Mr. Barber has an interestingly wonderful sense of humor and is a big connoisseur of art and other things too. So he met these artists that made these sculptures, Bill Secunda who made the bugs, uh, Ted Gall who made the big sculptures, and uh, William Colburn, and just felt like they needed to be here and they're just a great addition and keep people talking about, you know, something's always around every corner. Well, there you have it. Very uh, unique track. Fantastic circuit to drive on. And uh, I think we're going to wrap it up here. So when you see those spiders and ants out there, you know why. This is IndyCar.com, Willpower, signing off.